Hi everyone. Today I'll be teaching you how to validate a docx file in Power Automate. As a reminder, this will work the same way in Logic Apps as well. To perform this flow, we will be using the Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector. Now to get things started, we will click Create. On this page, we will choose Instant Cloud Flow and type in a name for the flow. Then we will select Manually Trigger a Flow and press Create. Now we're ready to begin. The first step of our process is going to retrieve the content from our source folder. The file I will be using is in SharePoint, so I will type SharePoint get file content. Next, I will select my SharePoint site address and the file path. For our next step, we will look up the Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector, which is the green icon here, and select Validate a Word Document. Note that if you've never used one of our connectors before, you'll be prompted to enter your API key. This is free on the Cloudmersive website with no commitment, and once you've entered it here, you won't be asked for it again. Now we will simply input the docx file from the previous step, along with the name of the file followed by the .docx extension. Unlike some of our other flows, we will not need a create file action to follow this step, so we are ready to click the Save button at the bottom of the screen. It will take a moment to save your information, but once it's complete, we can click the Test button in the top right-hand corner. We will choose the Manual option for testing the file, hit the second Test button, and then Continue. After that, we will click Run Flow and Done. After clicking Done, we will see green check marks next to the connectors, showing that the flow worked. Now we can simply click on the action step to view our results. We can see that the output shows the validity of the Word document, as well as the error count, warning count, and a description area for any identified errors or warnings. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe and check back in for more tutorials and tips on using Cloudmersive connectors in Power Automate.